and happy Friday. It is Friday the 18th of October 2024. Um, even if you're watching this reading and it isn't that date, don't worry about it because the angels are always telling me that a reading will have something in it for you regardless of when you watch it. So I'm going to get our cards from the original Rider Waite tarot deck by, considered by A.E. White and designed by Pamela Coleman smith I'm Hen from Self Love Self Care System. I'm going to be doing our daily readings today from the, this deck, I want to get an energy of the day card, a problem if there is one, and a solution. So you're showing me all the cards today. <laughs> I don't like it when they show to me. Now, I'm going to read them kind of together in a way because the, there's a reason. There's a reason you're going to see in a moment, okay? So the energy of the day card came up was the Hierophant. It's the major arcana card, okay? And But we also got in the problem area the Queen of Cups. So there's no problem as such. So I'm going to put them there. And I'm going to talk about what's going on here. So the energy of the day is masculine, sorry, feminine and masculine balance. So you might want to see the card a little bit more, actually. The angels are telling me to hold them up. So bossy. <laughs> it's so bossy. There's a, a sense of studying a new gradient in your life, moving forward, getting more knowledge, tuning into who you are. There's all of that. There's the Queen of Cups. And as you look, she is completely surrounded with money. Look at her feet. Money. Look at this. You've got the keys to the kingdom. You are being told it's time. It's time to move forward. There is no problem. The major message here is of you balancing. And the, the angels are telling me you balanced your feminine and your masculine. You found what works for you and you've been able to balance yourself out. Now, there's a couple of things coming up for me. The first thing is that you might want to embark on a period of studying. That's coming through for me. The other thing that's coming through for me is you may want to create something new here, something different in your life, something that... You, it's almost like making water into wine. You're, you're making something different out of what was before. Yeah. Um, there is abundance all around you. You are literally abundant. You are revered by others. They want to be taught by you. The um, energy is also telling me that you're stepping into a space where your wisdom can be shared with those that you meet and love. And there's an interesting component to this because the angels are saying some of you may be reticent to do this. And they're saying that's fine. Take your time because the whole um, energy around this is cumulative and they're telling me that you might need to get through october november december and go into january kind of maybe even coming down into the end of january before you start really bringing this out fully but what this energy is today is the beginning on this friday the 18th it is the beginning of you recognizing that what you cleared has gone or what doesn't need to be in your energy field or your or your body or your consciousness is gone and also that you're going to learn something new so you can move into the higher highest aspect of yourself whether male or female because remember this is balanced female masculine energy here but you're able now to be both aspects of yourself you're able to be feminine strength you're able to be masculine um sort of logic but there is a sort of it weirdly there's a there's a deep sense of strength around this cards these also these cards you're being asked to tune in to what's coming up for you the other thing the angels are telling me is that there is a sense of now whether you're religious or not this doesn't ask you to be religious but there's a sense of godliness here and if you don't like that word god that's fine just ignore it ignore me saying it but they're saying to me it's really funny because as i say this is a church right there across the road that i'm looking at and it's, like, and it's really been kind of drawing me in while I've been doing this reading. And I keep seeing it out the corner of my eye and the cross. And they're saying to me that it's like, you need to have faith in something. Be, have faith in yourself. Believe in yourself and believe you can create what it is you've been trying to create. Anything else, angels? They're saying to me that you... Yeah, you need to, ah, I got it. Yeah, I love that. It's saying you need to take your place in the world. What What's stopping you taking your place, stepping up? Four, four, four on the clock, angels guiding you, angels supporting you, angels assisting you to do this. You're not doing this on your own. That's the other thing. They are, ah, hence the church, show me the church. There are others that want to assist you with this. You're not on your own doing this. 
it's very interesting because what they're doing is they're showing me how many of you who watch my readings, who work with me, you do feel this sense of needing to do it on your own. Now, it's not necessary. That's not how it needs to be anymore. You do not need to do this on your own. You need to lean into those that can help and support you. And love will attend you somehow, some way. Love will attend you. Now, the reason I brought the word love up is because it's a queen. It's the cups. And cups is all about relationships and love. And it tunes into love. And you're being asked to tune into that aspect. Anything else? More angels. So I did the two together. So it's kind of like shortened the reading to some degree. They said, though there may be mountains that you may have to climb, you can do this in your sovereign self. Because there's something interesting that they're showing me. They're sort of showing me, you guys, um, knowing you need to scale the mountain. But they're always saying it to me like, well, they think they need to scale it not as... How do I put this? Like, you know, you're, you're going to reach the, 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 the peak of the mountain. Like, oh, I've done it. I'm the king of the castle kind of thing, right? Yeah. Yep, the angels are saying, why, what is it, what's going on here where you think you need to traverse it to get there, not in your sovereign self? Does this make sense? So what they mean is, it's like you're trying to scale the Mount Everest, but as your lower self, as the self that doesn't almost believe it. So what they're saying to me to say to you guys is take this journey up, like this should stay up. <laughs> take this journey up starwards um, and go where you're being called, but in your sovereign capacity, in your higher energy, in your sage-like quality, in your queen or kingly energy. Go for the goods. Oh, I really get it. I love this. Go for the goods as that person already, right? Yeah? So you want to be a writer? You're already a writer. You want to be a singer? You're already a singer. You want to be um, a Formula One driver? Okay, you're probably not going to be doing that one unless you're really young. But, but if you're really young and you want that, then feel that already. Trust that that's who you already are. Be the person that you're meant to be in the next phase. Because all that fear does is it will bring you the gift with a caveat or a consequence. So if you go up the hill already believing in this, already strong and in that trajectory, then that is not going to happen. You won't get the consequences. You won't get the challenge because you've already taken the challenge as you've gone up the hill. I hope that makes sense. I really love that reading myself. I'm going to have to watch it too. Okay. okay. If you got this far, please do give me a thumbs up. I'd be super, super grateful. And those of you who are new to this channel, who've just been peeking in, we absolutely love having you here. Please do subscribe. We would love to have you as part of the tribe. Um, when you get to the end, do check out the videos I have at the end. They'll probably be yesterday's reading and one of the angel messages that I channel for Saturdays. Now, if you are interested in those readings, do sort of messages. Do look on my page because there's a, it's got its own little playlist now. So you can go in there and just watch all of those and you can literally connect into the angels and get that high wisdom that they bring through for you. So now let's have a look at solution. Not that you need one. It's a bonus card. <gasps> you are not going to believe it when you see it. You are not going to believe it. It couldn't be better. It's the Queen of Wands bringing in the luck of the black cat. You are so lucky right now. Friday the 18th of October opens a door to deep, huge, huge cycles of luck for you. So yes, this beautiful black cat wants to bring you deep luck. Now also, I did forget to say yesterday, it's the full moon in Aries. So the full moon in Aries is that go, go, getting attitude. Remember I was talking about getting up the hill? That's what Aries will want you to do. The full moon in Aries will pull you to make those choices, release what no longer serves you. But there's a lot of alchemy presented in this. You are being alchemically charged. Um, you're being given the tools that you require. There is a little bit of the Leo energy here as well. The Leo the lion, roaring, ready to take your place with this Aries energy as well of... Aries is all about, I'm doing it, I'm going to get it, I'm not going to stop myself, I'm just going to go for it. And it will pull you, pretty much kicking and screaming, but you will achieve more in that Aries energy than you could in much any anything else. So that, my lovelies, is what's about to come for you. Isn't that exciting? That amazing energy of the Aries Wham. This is the Ram, right? 
And it's about taking that power that is yours and remembering that luck is on your side. And it's in words, it's in relationship, and it's also in a high energy of like the, the sage, the wise one, the one that can show everybody what they've learned and what they've created. So amazing. So there you go. It's a little bit longer than usual, isn't it? Yes. Okay, well, lovelies, do check out the videos if you're interested. Namaste, everyone. Have a beautiful, beautiful weekend. I will be doing Saturday's message for you as well. Do check that out when you have a moment on Saturday. It's a nice one because it's the message with the angels. It's channeled in and they bring you something that you really vibrationally need in the moment. That's how they work. Sending you all so much love. Take care. Bye, bye, bye.